everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Lily and Tuesday was my birthday. Um, I turned 25, which feels quite old. It was a really nice day, um, I was working, uh, so I took some cake into work and that was great. And me and my housemate went for Nando's in the evening and that was lovely. I only got one book for my birthday, but I did get a lot of kind of bookish presents, so I wanted to make a video Anyway, I also bought myself two books because because I can and yay. So yeah, I'll jump straight in. Um, actually, <laughs> actually the first two presents I got um, that I'm going to talk about, uh, they weren't really very bookish, but they are very cool. Um, my uncle got me this uh, little mini uh, drone camera thing and uh, it's really quite cool. I've uh, only got it to work once and I crashed it into my uh, housemate's hamster cage. So I'm planning on taking this somewhere, a uh, wide open space where there isn't sea or walls or something that I can crash it into. But it's quite cool, yay! So I might get some footage on that at some point and you can see my terrible drone driving skills. So my uncle, he also got me some bookish things. I got this uh, a uh, purse which I'm actually going to use as a pencil case. It might actually be a pencil case. I don't actually know, it doesn't say on it. But Alice in Wonderland, very cool. I also got a matching tote bag with the Hatter, Mad Hatter, and Alice on the back. My uncle uh, also got me, um, where is it? Uh, I don't know where it is. Uh, so I'll find it later. This is a messy video. And my housemate, she got me a really cool book, which is Star to Star uh, Astronomical Dot to Dot Puzzles. And I've never seen anything like this. I haven't seen Dot to Dot. I've seen the uh, phenomenon that is uh, adult colouring books, but not Dot to Dot. And these are very, very complicated Dot to Dots. Um, I think the numbers go up to like 500. There's, I see 539. So yeah, but they've also got these really cool uh, info pages which are really pretty and all sorts of really interesting things about constellations some of them I haven't even heard of I don't know Crux what's Crux? Crux is in the southern hemisphere that'd be why I haven't heard of it <laughs> okay but yeah it's really really pretty uh, lots of really cool stuff so I'm looking forward to getting into that I'm not really good at colouring I do have some colouring books um, but I got a bit perfectionist about them and any time I slightly ruined a page I, I would just feel awful and then the whole book was ruined so it was more uh, stressful for me to try and do colouring in adult colouring books than it was just to like draw my own thing so I'm looking forward to this because you can't really go wrong with dots dots it's like instructions it's great so thank you very much my housemate uh, my mum got me some really cool things uh, first cool thing uh, <laughs> is an iron which maybe shows my age a little bit that I got really excited about an iron. Um, the story behind it though is that I started making a quilt, the first quilt I've ever made for a colleague at work uh, a few weeks ago I started I think but I've got stuck at the point where I need to iron some seams and I've been pestering my mum for a couple weeks to come around hers and use her iron and she's just been like oh you can come around but each time delaying, so, uh, and this was the reason why, because she got me an iron for my birthday. So I'm very looking forward to uh, going on with my uh, quilt and hopefully finishing it soon. That'd be nice, yay. She also got me some bookish things though. I got this lovely book, like it's all, it's, well, it's not a book, it's a, it's a secret box. Oh, those are the things I was looking for. Um, so this is from my uncle. These are some bookish chocolates that say, go away, I'm reading is very very me so actually I might keep them there that's a good hiding place but this is a really pretty book box that I'm going to hide somewhere um, with my secret stash of chocolates yay bookish things all in a book and that is a very powerful magnet ah yes so this is very very pretty and it's got a beautiful spine and uh, butterflies yay my mum also got me this which is it's an old magazine about circuses and this has some kind of backstory as well um i'm actually writing a novel about a circus and so she knows i'm really really interested in circus 
uh, it's actually quite hard to research them in a lot of ways because circuses themselves, they're quite uh, enclosed and secretive. They don't really like being interviewed very much either. I very much to interview a few because they're sometimes quite worried about press and things like that. So this was really cool to see and there's loads of um, uh, old adverts and info and pictures. I think this was one of the first times that uh, the wheel of death was used, which is quite cool. So this is lovely. So this will go in my research box and after I finish reading it. My mum also got me this, which is amazing. It's probably the biggest notebook I've ever owned and it is just beautiful. It says, to produce a mighty book, you must choose a mighty theme, Herman Melville. And it's beautiful, it's all embossed, it's got a lovely spine as well. Um, and the best thing, which some of you might not think is the best thing, but look, it's it's a plain pages, and I love plain pages, and like gold edges and everything, and plain pages are amazing, because I like to draw and stick things in, and I like to kind of make my books, in my notebooks, into kind of like collages and all sorts of stuff, just, just everywhere, and I, I love that. And being able to turn the page and write sideways or upside down and all sorts of things like that, and stick maps in, and I'm just, just like, I, I love that kind of thing. Having big spreads um, and lines, lines really ruin that. And it's getting so hard these days to find plain page books. So I'm so happy with this, but I'm quite terrified that I won't ever write in it because it's just so beautiful. It's even got a little ribbon and everything. And I'm just like, ah, I could write an entire novel in it. It's so huge. It is so huge. So yeah, my mum, amazing. I love my mum. Thank you, mum. And yeah, those were my uh, bookish gifts that I got for my birthday. I also went book shopping and bought myself two gifts for myself. I got this, which is The Explorer by Catherine Rundell. And she wrote The Rooftoppers, which I really enjoyed a few years ago. And she's one of my favourite children's writers, I think, at the moment. And it's also signed, so I was like, yay! So that was a really nice find. Um, and I'm very happy and I'm very looking forward to reading this. It reminds me a little bit of uh, The Journey to the River Sea by Ava Ibbotson, which was one of my all-time favourite children's books uh, before Harry Potter. And I'm really looking forward to diving back into the Amazon rainforest again into a children's book. So proper looking forward to this one. I think it's kind of like uh, survival though, not so much uh, horrible relatives. The two people that I know who've both read this book have both rated it five stars. So this, I, I'm, I've got very high expectations of this and it's even got a Philip Pullman quote. And I think that's quite a rare thing nowadays to see a Philip Pullman quote on a book. I haven't seen one very recently other than this one, um, but yes, so looking forward to that. Uh, the other book I got was quite a surprise. Um, it's called uh, The Brown Stones Mythical Collection, Arthur and the Golden Rope by, to uh, by Joe Todd Stanton. And this, I'm unsure if this is a graphic novel or if it's a children's picture book, but look at the map. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just, I can't get enough of this map. and. It's about, so far, <laughs> I think it's about the Brownstone family vault and this guy, I'm not sure what his name is, um, who has to look after it and he knows all these stories about this big family and the first one that he's going to tell is about a boy called Arthur who is uh, from Iceland, I think, and there's so many beautiful um, illustrations and it's sort of like a comic, sort of like a picture book and it just looks utterly, utterly beautiful. And I think there's a bit of Norse mythology in there. Um, that looks a lot like Thor. So um, yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. I also uh, had a look on Amazon and I think there's a couple more. One that's coming out soon and one I'm unsure if it came out last year, if it's coming out next year. Uh, there are two different publication dates, so we will see. But this is someone I'm definitely going to look for in the future. It's published by Flying Eye Books and so, so beautiful. Yeah, and that's my quick update for my birthday and bookish presents, yay. We're doing a reading wrap up in the next few days, I think. And also I've got a video that I'm planning on doing on like nostalgic children's books because I'm re I've finally, finally, I, I've finally started rereading Harry Potter. I've been saying all year that I will do it and I've finally, 
finally started doing it. Um, I started on I started on my birthday actually on Tuesday, and I'm now nearly finished with the Chamber of Secrets. So hopefully going to try and finish that tonight, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but yes. So I'm suddenly in a completely nostalgic children's mode, and. I've realised it is less than a month now until the Book of Dust is out and I want to reread Northern Lights and that trilogy and I'm just like, ah, all the children's books. So there will be a video about children's books very soon, I'm hoping. Um, that is all from me. Goodbye. <laughs>